Hey guys, so on the forehand, should we catch the racket when we finish or should we let the racket finish uninterruptedly? So it's going to depend a little bit on what type of finish you have. And there are five finishes on the forehand. So we can go like Rafa around the head like this. We can go around our neck like this. We can go around the shoulder. We can go around the elbow or we can go around the waist. So guys, obviously, if we have a buggy whip finish like Rafa, there's absolutely no way to catch the racket because everything's happening on the hitting side of the body. Also, if we have a around the waist finish like Monfils or Nick Kyrgios, there's no need to catch the racket down here because this would put our non-dominant hand in an uncomfortable position and this could potentially hurt our balance. Also, if you have a finish like Medvedev and the racket is going around your neck, it's going to be very uncomfortable to catch the racket up that high. This would mean that the non-dominant hand would go, have to go way up to catch the racket up here and this does not feel natural. So if you have one of these finishes, you should not try to catch your racket. Now the two finishes where it's okay to catch the racket is the around the shoulder finish and it can even be a little bit above the shoulder and also the around the elbow finish. And the reason why it's possible to catch the racket on the finish for the around the shoulder finish and the around the elbow finish is what happens to the non-dominant arm on the forehand. So when we initiate the torso rotation, the non-dominant arm is not going to stay straight, it's going to tuck. And most players will have the fingers spread in this way and the hand is going to point forward. So naturally, someone with an around the elbow finish will simply catch the racket as the racket goes to this side. It's a very natural movement. Also, if you have an around the shoulder finish, it doesn't take much effort to catch the racket up here. So let me show you what that looks like. First, the around the elbow finish, kind of like Federer, who does catch his racket on the finish. And now the around the shoulder finish, all I have to do is raise my hand a little bit upwards and it's also very comfortable to catch the racket in this way. And guys, I'm sure you want to know which pros catch the racket and which don't. And it's really interesting because it doesn't really apply to any generation of players. So there are some next generation players that are catching the racket. And there's also some next generation players that are not catching the racket. And the same goes for some of the more old school players. The only correlation that I see was with the type of finish that a particular player had. So usually if a player has an around the waist type finish, there will be no catching of the racket. And also if a player had a Medvedev type around the neck type finish, I also did not find any players who catch the racket with this particular style. So there were some variations on players who had an around the shoulder finish and an around the elbow finish, whether they're catching the racket or not. And if you take a look at two players with very similar forehands, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. So these guys strike the ball very similarly. So Alexander Zverev, will go around the elbow like this and he will not catch the racket. He will naturally allow the racket to finish like this, while on the other hand, Felix Auger Aliasim will have a similar swing path as Zverev and he will catch the racket on his finish. Okay guys, so here are the players who do not catch the racket on their forehand. These are Kyrgios, Murray, Djokovic, Nadal, Serena, Zverev, Medvedev, Sampras, Dimitrov and Borg. And now the players who catch the racket on the forehand which was a surprising list and here it is Del Potro, Feder, Team, Tsitsipas, Vavrinka, Auger, Aliasim, Agassi and Halep. So guys this comes down to personal preference so obviously on the finish around the waist it would be uncomfortable to catch the racket down here and it might inhibit the shot. The same goes for the around the neck finish. This will also be uncomfortable to catch the racket up here. But for the other finishes that are between the shoulder and the elbow, it really does not matter. You have to realize that the stroke is over anyway at that particular time. So it doesn't matter whether you let the racket swing out like this or whether you catch the racket with your non-dominant hand. And what is very important on your forehand is a proper finish. So when you're finishing your forehand, you have to make sure that you're rotating all the way and that the racket is pointing towards the back fence. And this is where a lot of players misinterpret the catching of the racket. So what I see sometimes at the recreational level is that players will catch the racket 
up here. Now the stroke is interrupted, the rotation is interrupted, and you will not get enough power on a forehand that stops right here. So whether you catch your racket or not on a forehand that finishes between the shoulder and the elbow absolutely does not matter. What does matter is that you finish the stroke all the way, that the racket is pointing towards the back fence and you do achieve a full rotation. And what you should never do is catch the racket in front and interrupt your stroke. And guys, one interesting thing that I discovered when I was doing this research is that Grigor Dimitrov and Roger Federer do not have identical forehands. If you take a look at Federer's forehand, as we already discussed, Federer catches the racket. Grigor Dimitrov, on the other hand, does not catch the racket. He lets his racket swing out freely like this. So contrary to popular belief, Dimitrov's forehand is not identical to Federer. 